Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So we are back with a subscription box Sunday this week. Um, I took last weekend off. Um, I posted on my Instagram story. If you don't follow me there, that's where I give sometimes updates if I'm not gonna post, but um, I ended up having to put my hamster down that week and it's kind of just been rough. It was a hard week the week before last. And to be honest, last week wasn't very great either, I'll be honest. Uh, not that anything's great right now, but I took last weekend off, but I am back this weekend with another subscription box Sunday. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do lots of subscription box unboxing videos here. So if you're a sub box lover like me, go ahead and subscribe and let's get into some fun boxes. So the three boxes we'll be going through today are Sips By, My Paper Box Grand Version, and then Grandma in a Box. Go ahead and start off with Sips By, which is a monthly tea subscription. You get four different teas every month for $15 a month, but I do have a code down below where you can get $5 off of your first box. This is the August box, so when you open it up, it says August Teas, and then on the back, it lists all of the teas that I receive and has them inside. Now, you do fill out a tea profile, so you can kind of fill out your likes and dislikes. So for me, I don't like caffeinated teas. I'm pretty much open to flavor profile-wise, so you can fill that out, and they will customize it to you. I forgot to mention, I'll put timestamps down below if you want to skip to some of the other boxes if this box isn't for you, but in between boxes, I'll kind of be a little bit more chatty. Like, there's some question you got questions that little, little, mm -hmm. there are some questions that you guys asked uh, in my last video and I'll try to answer and answer a couple of those as well. So the first set of teas that I got is from Ahmad Tea and this is their rose hip hibiscus and cherry tea. This is caffeine free and includes rose hip peel, hibiscus flower, cherry pieces, and natural cherry flavor. You put one bag per eight ounces of water, steep at 212 degrees Fahrenheit for five minutes. I've, we've gotten lots of teas from Ahmad Teas and I really do like them, so I'm excited to try these out. The next tea that I am pulling out is from Byron Teas, and this is their worry-free, caffeine-free tea. Um, so it has a herbal blend that combines fragrant jasmine, lavender, and honey with Western um, Ayurvedic and Chinese traditional herbs. The perfect blend for harmony and relaxation. Steep um, for 210 degrees Fahrenheit for three to five minutes. And you can like see through these. So these look really yummy and good. You do get a little sachet in here with little tea bags in it so that if you get a loose leaf tea, which we're about to open, that way you have something to steep them in. So this one is from David's Tea, and this is their Organic North African Mint. This is low caffeine, so it does have a little bit of caffeine inside. Um, so it does mint, ginger, and fennel are all great digestive aids, deliciously aromatic with all the romance of Maghreb. This blend is perfect way to unwind after a heavy meal. Um, Seep at 185 degrees for three to five minutes. We've gotten teas from David's Tea before and I've really enjoyed these as well. This type of mint tea is great to drink after a meal. And the last but not least is by Chico Chai and this is their turmeric chai. Um, so this is caffeine free and it's a hand blended herbal chai that is full of turmeric and bold spices. It's a rich caffeine free chai you can enjoy any time of day. You steep for five minutes um, at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So they have some different instructions there of different ways that you can brew it and make it, which is really, really cool. So it says heat one cup of water on stove, add one heaping teaspoon of chai, cover and simmer for 10 minutes. Then you add a fourth a cup of milk and a teaspoon of sugar, simmer five more minutes and strain. So this is like legit chai. Oh, I'm excited to make that. So that's everything that I got in my sips by this month. Now I will say that I am cutting back on subscription boxes that I'm gonna have on my channel. And so I'm not gonna be unboxing this one anymore. This will probably be the last one. Same with the grandma in the box. I just need to, I'm getting so much stuff and I just need to reduce how much stuff I'm getting. I'm making changes to my channel as you've seen, which is part of why I have these videos. I'm not gonna double upload anymore as I've said in past videos. So I'm trying to make some changes, one, to improve my channel, but B, to just give me a little bit of um, time to actually relax because you know I work five days a week 40 hours a week usually plus 40 hours and then on the weekend an entire day is usually dedicated to filming editing taking pictures doing all of that stuff which means I really only get one day off and sometimes I double I have to film both days just because of when packages get delivered and so I'm just trying to find a better balance you know um, because this is more of my hobby. I have a career and I want to continue going down that career path. I enjoy YouTube, but this is my hobby. I know for some other people, they've taken their channels and turned it into their career, but right now I'm not in that place, which is why I've been trying to like switch things up, be strategic, have 
fun, which is the main point of me having this channel. All right, switching into the next box, which is my paper box. I believe that this is the August box, and this is their grand subscription, which is $35 a month. I do usually also get the mini, which is $10 a month, but that's not here yet, and I figured I'd throw this into the subscription box Sunday video. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. Basically, the subscription is customized stationery that has like your name on it, and so you get all sorts of different cards, notepads, fun little stationery stationary items. So it looks like this one's theme is all about safari, animals, colors, and textures, which is really cool. First thing out says, hello, August. And this is like their little calendar or their planner. So each day they always show you like the fun little holidays. So um, August 5th was work like a dog day. Um, August 15th is Saturday relaxation day. Um, taking notes. <laughs> so then you have like the calendar for the month and lots of different things inside. They do also have a desk calendar, which I'm now realizing is over at my desk, but it basically is just like a snippet of this that you can stick in a little stand. And I love putting that by my desk. There's also little places for notes. So I love like the little mini planner for the month. The next thing out are all of these cards. I think they all say my name on them, which is Katrina. So different patterns and stuff. And then on the back, you can just write. So it has my name again. And these are just like little note cards. I'm sure you could use them as cards or you could just use them to write down important notes. They are pretty thick paper, so it's probably not like those little scratch notes that you write, um, but cool. Next out is a really super cute card. They always come with an envelope. So this one has a little lion and lion cub on it. And it says, we all know you're lying about your age. Happy birthday, your buddy Katrina. <laughs> That's actually really cute for a birthday card. I don't know who I'd give it to, but it's still really cute. Then there are little stickers that say a little something from Katrina. So you could put these on a present. I could put them on my giveaways boxes or something like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. And there's a little Ziploc pouch here. And inside we have three different notepads. So the first one has like a little leopard on the top and then some elephants at the bottom. Then this notepad kind of has like a calendar at the side if you can see it, if it'll focus where you can kind of select the day or whatever. So maybe a reminder for an appointment or something is what you could use these for. And then this one says, one tall list, Katrina, and it has a little giraffe. That's super cute. I mean, the giraffe takes up a lot of the space on the, the thing, but I still think that this is super cute. <gasps> Wait, oh my gosh, this is really, really cute. So it's Sketch Safari Flocked Pencils. Wait, what? That is so cool, I need to open this. So here are the pencils, those are so cute. They're just like little felt covered pencils with little like, um, I don't know, I think these are just regular pencils, but they have this kind of like felt thing with little animal patterns. That's really, really cute. This is like one of the cooler things that we've gotten in this um, subscription before. I love this. So then I think that these are stickers. This one looks like a sticker. I'm not sure if all of these are. This one's definitely a sticker. I'm not sure if these other ones are. This one just looks like a post-it with the elephant. Then there's, these must be because they're all the same paper, a little giraffe, a to-do sticker a little notepad paper with a uh, leopard print, I guess. And then notes with a leopard. This is cute. So the next out, there's like these little mini erasers of different animals. I'm not gonna take them out because I'll lose them. And then there's also little animal stickers. I love animals. Like I'm an animal person and I would have a zoo if I could <laughs> of animals. So I love that there's all these little things on there. Um, now that I, you know, I mentioned my hamster, it was, it was sad. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to talk about it. Um, cause it'll make me emotional, but now I'm like debating, am I emotionally ready for another pet yet? What am I going to get? Maybe I'll get a dog. I don't know. Um, but I think I'm, especially with my sister moving out, you know, and me being more on my own, it would be nice to have a little buddy, a little pal. So, uh, I'm thinking about getting a little pet whether it be another hamster or a dog, cat, I'm not sure yet. I still have some thinking and processing to do because that's a huge commitment, um, but I'm getting kind of excited about that. Then we have some planner stickers. So these have little animals at the top and then just like little different icons. Oh, are those little YouTube icons? That's so cute down at the bottom. They have the same set, but there's two sheets of them there. And then last but not least is another card. This one has an elephant with little stripes on it. This is a really pretty um, drawing. And it says, I will never forget how awesome you are. That's really cute. I love that. That's really cool. Actually, I might even like use this as an art print 
instead of a card, you could totally frame this and make it an art print. I love that. I think that's really, really cool. So that's everything that I got in the My Paper Box Grand Box this month. Again, I'll leave links down below for all of the things that I unboxed in case you want to subscribe. So one of the questions that somebody asked, I figured I'd answer, was um, have you traveled to any other countries other than Germany? As a lot of you guys probably know, um, half of my family lives there. I'm a dual citizen actually. And um, so obviously I've been to Germany, I live in the United States. I've only actually been to one other country, which I know sounds crazy and it's the Bahamas. I went there for a family vacation years ago, maybe 10 years ago. Um, but I haven't really gotten to travel a lot and I would love to, but when you have half of your family who lives in a different country, and I mean literally half of my family, you know, you kind of have to prioritize that. There's only so many years that you have with your grandparents or with these people that are getting old. So for me, whenever I do get the chance to travel, right now it is to Germany because my grandma is still alive, you know, so I want to spend as much time as I can with her while she's still here. Um, and so as much as I want to go to Italy and just eat pizza for like every single day, and not pizza, well pizza, but pasta, pasta is my favorite food. I just want to eat pasta until I die basically and go to Italy and do that. And you go to some of these other places in Europe. I'd love to go to the Middle East. I'd love to go all over the world. But right now my priority is to see my grandmother and that's kind of the way that I see that. So, or my Oma as I call her, um, which is why I haven't really traveled a ton. Um, so it's not like I get a ton of vacation time, you know, like I have to prioritize and that's kind of what I prioritized. I'm actually really bummed, you know, with everything going on, I can't travel and my I went to Germany last summer and my plan was every single summer and while she's still here, I want to go and I want to visit. So it kind of, I mean, I know that everybody's dealing with hard stuff right now, but for me personally, one thing that I'm really upset about is the fact that I don't get to see her this year. Um, where she lives is so up north that I won't go there in the winter because it's way too cold there. I usually only go during the summer because she is on the water, uh, she's on the ocean. So I I really do want to go see her, but I, it's kind of like I missed a year that I could have seen her, which is kind of sad to think about it that way. And I know I need to be positive, but I'm personally a pessimist. <laughs> um, so I'm really looking forward to the hopeful fact that I'll be able to go next year, or I guess in German, Daumen drücken. But I'm really hoping that I get to see her next year. Speaking of grandmas, this actually segues really well. We will go into Grandma in a Box for August. Now you can't get the August box anymore. You would be getting the September box if you sign up. And I believe the cutoff is September 3rd. Now this box is 22 I think dollars a month but if you sign up for longer subscriptions I think it's 10% off and then also if you do like their auto debit program you can get 10% off as well. Basically what this is is this is like a kit of little snack goodies that you get to create little activities which is so fun. So I'm not gonna make any of the goodies in the video today because it's a slam packed weekend, but I am just gonna show you what you get in the box and what the activities are. So the August theme is under the sea. So the three projects includes baby shark pops, clams with pearls, and sea life cookies with frosting and sprinkles. So that sounds super duper fun. I love like animal wildlife and all that kind of stuff. So if you look here, this is what the little shark, baby shark pops are supposed to look like. Then the, oh wow, that's cute. The clams with pearls. That's so cute. And then you get to do like little sea life cookies as well. So it gives you instructions on how to do everything, which ingredients you need, um, which is super duper fun. So let me just show you what you get. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. So you get little marshmallows, three different colors of icing. Um, some different sprinkles. I think these are probably eyes for the clams. You got the little goldfish to put on the shark pops. Some crumbs here. Um, some more like purple sprinkles. Chocolate melts, which are white and green and blue. You also have the cookies themselves. So there's some fish shaped ones, some like shell shaped ones, and some stars. I'm guessing that these are little Nilla wafers to make the clams. And then you get the sticks to make the little pops. This subscription is actually a lot of fun. I, I really like making all the products. I just don't have time right now, but I'm excited to make them maybe later tonight with my sister or tomorrow. I think it's a really fun idea. It's like a way to send your grandkids or anybody, um, kids, friends, something fun to do. And like, it's like a snack and it's an activity. And I really love the themes and I think it's super fun. So those are all of the boxes that I was gonna show in my subscription box Sunday video this week. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did 
you think of these subscription boxes? Ask me questions for my next videos. Um, like I said, you know, I will do these as I have boxes to do them. This weekend I did. Um, I think I'm getting a lot of stuff this week, so I think that I probably will have a, hopefully I'll have a bigger or even have a subscription box Sunday next week. Um, so I'm really excited to see you then, but I have videos going up all week, so definitely stay tuned. I've got some really good videos this week, some that I'm like super excited. There's gonna be videos of things that I haven't done before this week. I think three out of the five this week. No, four out of the five this week are boxes or things that I, you've never seen before. They won't all be subscription boxes this week. So definitely stay tuned. It's gonna be a fun week of videos and uh, stay tuned.